Hi, and welcome to Squarespace Tutorials with Jake Jorgovin. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a contact form within Squarespace. So here I have pulled up this test contact form page, and I have a simple um, text piece here that says contact, but we want to add a form to this site that actually allows people to contact you, and we want to set that up correctly so you actually get those inquiries. So what we're going to do here is you're going to scroll over this little section with the plus icon below the contact and you're going to click that and it's going to bring up this option here for all of these different uh, field editors and we're going to scroll down to more and we're going to click the form button and when you click the form button what pops up is this window that says edit form so here you have the opportunity to name your form, and really this is completely up to you. Um, whenever an email come th comes through to you as a result of this form, uh, this is what it's going to be called, but other than that, the form name doesn't really matter. So we're going to say test contact form as the name of the form. And then what we're going to do here is we have the ability to come down here and customize the form. So by default, it's going to automatically ask for your name, your email address, your subject, and your message. Well, maybe we don't really want the subject. There's no real need to put that within the contact form. So if you wanted to, you can just simply hit the X button right here, and we can get rid of the subject field. But what if I want their address or I want their phone number as part of this contact form? Well, down here you have this op option to add field. So you're going to click the plus button here on the add field. And now all of these new form fields come up. The text, text area, select, checkbox, radio, uh, a whole lot of these pop up. And there's different things you can do with all of these. Um, and there's a lot of different ways you can use forms as a result of this. But I'm not actually going to dive into all of these here. I'm basically just going to show you how to kind of just set up the main ones that you need for a contact form. So say we want to get the person's phone number. Well, we go down here and we click on phone and suddenly the, we have a little option down here for phone number now another thing that you have to, the ability to do is do I want to require the phone number maybe the person wants to fill out everything but they don't want to give you their phone number so uh, if you hit required a little star will pop up down here and you have the ability to basically require them to fill that out or if you don't want that and you'd still like them to be able to reach out to you without the phone number then you don't have to hit the required button and once you're kind of done here, you can simply hit the Done button. And that just kind of collapses, and you can work on the form a bit more. Um, maybe you want to add an address on here as well. So you click the Add field, and you go to Address. And now it's going to automatically populate a field with all of your kind of default address fields. Uh, so that pops up as well. And again, you can choose if you want to require that or not. But now we're looking at this, and it's kind of all out of order. We have name, email, message, phone number, address. It's all out of order. Well, if you want to, you can now actually cha change the order of this. So these little uh, gray dots here on the left side, you can simply click one of these fields, and now you have the ability to move it up and down and drop it wherever you want. So I'm going to drop this form right here, or the phone number right here below email address. And you see over here on the form, now the phone number is right below the email address. Now maybe I want to have the message be last, and that be the last thing they reach out with. So I can put the address again. I can just completely cl click these little dots and drag the address right below the phone number. Now that is basically choosing and setting up all the fields on the form. But now the question is, how are you actually going to receive that form? How is it going to come to you? And so what you're going to see up here in the top is these three little tabs that are within the form editor. The build, storage, and advanced tabs. The next thing we're going to hit is storage. Here it's going to basically automatically, as soon as you make a form, it's going to automatically default to sending you an email uh, as a result of the form. So if someone fills it out, it's going to go directly to my email address. But if I want to change that email, say I want it to go to somewhere else, I can simply click that little X button and I can say info at uh, whatever site I want to put it at. But for now, I'm going to leave in my normal email address 
and you hit connect. And now anytime someone fills out that form, I will get an email at my email address as a result of this form. Uh, another thing a lot of times people want to do is they want to put all of their inquiries into a Google Doc. So what you can do here, if you have a Google account and you're already logged in, then this is really, really easy to do. You basically just click uh, to connect on Google Docs. And it's going to pop up this little window where it's going to ask for permission to your Google account. So it wants me to sign in to my Google. And I'll click sign in. And then it's going to ask for offline access to your Google account. You hit accept. Give it a second. And now I can actually choose what I want to name the form. So I want to say test contact form. And now any inquiries that come as a result of this form are going to directly go into this Google Drive separated in an Excel spreadsheet uh, with all the fields that are in this. At last, you have this advanced tab over here. And what you can do with this tab is ch basically change the button label at the bottom. So right down here, you see it says submit. Maybe I want to say change that to say hello. And now if I scroll down here, well, I have to save it, I guess, real quick. Let me save it. Saving my form. Give it a second. We will save it again. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And now you'll see once I've saved it, it says say hello down here at the bottom. And if I want to go back and edit this form at any time in the future, I just double click anywhere on the form. And that window pops right back up. So we'll go back up here. We'll navigate over to advanced. And now I can choose also to align the button. I can put it center if I would like. And now you'll see say hello is in the center as opposed to the left. The last thing is you have the ability to enter your submit post submit message. So thank you for contacting us. We will get back with you shortly. So you can put in whatever custom message you have here. And as soon as you do that, that will pop up as soon as someone fill, fills out the form. Post submit HTML. You don't really want to worry about this as that's pretty uh, an advanced functionality that you need some HTML code for. And so that is how you create a contact form within Squarespace. I hope this was helpful, and if you have any other needs on your Squarespace site, please reach out to me at jakejorgovan.com slash Squarespace. Thanks, and I hope this was helpful.